What's going on guys? It's Captain Hockey 82 back here with another video on Airport CEO. It was requested on Reddit that I work, uh, uh, was requested for remote uh, boarding options. Uh, most specific, more specifically, the most efficient uh, way of doing it. Uh, that will be in a, a future video, but the first thing I want to do is just on this video very quickly, we'll just be explain how to do it. Because even I don't know the most efficient way, it's still not something that I'm very strong with. Um, so we're going to go in and show you that here in just one quick second. Before I get to that video, just want to take a second to thank you guys for all the love and support you guys have shown me. The uh, the support on my last video on this is above and beyond what I was expecting, and I really appreciate all the support. Uh, keep set, so please keep that up, and I'll talk to you guys at the end of the video. There is a surprise for you guys and I would recommend you wait until the end of the video to hear what it is. Anyway, enjoy the video. Talk to you afterwards. Alright guys, so in this video we are going to be taking a quick look at how to do the remote boarding uh, in airport CEO uh, so as you see here I have it set up everything in place that we will need to do it uh, what you'll need is obviously you'll need two or however many uh, stands you need that are not connected uh, to the actual terminal building so if you put them out here okay so once you build your stands and you have what you need in the actual airport so we're back into our terminal here and we're gonna say we're gonna put this is all if I yep yeah, okay so we got a secure zone here ignore the wall the fact that I have no walls put up so you need your secure zone you'll need a staff area so and then we're gonna, we're gonna work on one thing at a time so quickly over here in the secure zone we're going to add a in the desks option a boarding a desk uh, medium small doesn't matter we're going to use medium and we got two uh, stands that are mobile we're going to use so I already put the doors where I'm going to have the uh, stands so we'll get to that in a second here we're going to go ahead and place two of the two stands we need once we do that we are going to go over here to aircraft infrastructure we're going to look for the airside shuttle bus stop when you select you'll see it has looks like that and it has the two service uh, uh, road entrances uh, one the opposite side needs to be attached to the building would make it most efficient so I'm gonna put one there and I'm gonna put the other one right here that will represent our two shuttle stops for our two term uh, plane stands we also need one that's going to allow passengers coming from planes to depart get back into the terminal so these will load passengers to the plane and we're going to put one here and that will take passengers off the when they off, leave the plane they'll go back onto here and they'll get back in the building that way we will need one more thing we're going to go back same into the airport infrastructure we're going to select the service car stop this is for our ramp agents and any uh, employee that needs to get to the stands and we're gonna and that, uh, same thing as the bus stop which is a little smaller but it has two service road entrances and it needs to be connected to the terminal so we're gonna go ahead and select that just like that again all you need is to be into the service area the staff area and it has to have access, a door access to it once that is done we need to start to connect everything. So we're going to go here and select our first aircraft stand. Now I've already gone and I've connected it to the baggage bay just to show you. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and select our first stand. We're going to select the connect stand and we're going to make that first stand the far stand here. Now we're going to go back and connect where it says connect airside shuttle bus stop and just simply click it the one right there you see that it takes the red line over to the aircraft stand once that is done you can click on that aircraft stand now it gives you another option it's going to connect a uh, service car stop and connect arrival only airside shuttle bus stop so we're going to do the service car stop first 
So we're going to click that, and it's going to give us another red arrow. This one, you want to make sure you bring it over. Well, you can't, the only one you can put it on is the service cards that we made over here in the staff zone. Once we do that, we're going to hit the connect arrival only air side shuttle bus stop. That is when plane, people get off of the planes. They have some place to de-board and get back into uh, the terminal. So we're connect that to the one here. So this will not load anybody in. This is only be a passengers coming off of uh, planes. I think you probably can put it back on the same one that the desk up here. Uh, but this one should work just as well. So then we're going to go to the next one here, to the next terminal again, connect the stand to the other one, and then connect the shuttle bus to that one. And then we'll come back here to the stand, and again, service car stop, we can use the same one. If you're going to do any more than about two stands, I would create another uh, service car stop. And then connect the rival only to there, that's already connected. Everything is connected I should if I go to here not the upgrades thank you and just open stand it should work see everything's good everything's green it's good to go sending with this one yep so that is essentially the video in a, a nut shell so just make sure that you have everything connected. Very short and simple. It um, it does get more technical, and that will be in a, a future video, making it more efficient and working out. But I feel like this is a good starting point kind of an operation. You just make sure you have room on your terminal to actually put your bus stops, your shuttle bus stops, next to your terminal. Because uh, I know these regular airport stands, there's aircraft stands, take a lot of room up on the terminal. You can get away with that if you do something like this instead of having and having remote shuttled to the aircraft stands instead of having them all around the terminal. So again, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stick around because there is an announcement coming up here in about um, 10 seconds or so, give or take. So thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, I'm back. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what else you want me to see me do here on the channel or in Airport CEO. Um, any kind of challenges or anything really, let me know. I'll be happy to do them. But this uh, end scene announcement is here to say I have a big giveaway that I am starting uh, as of this video. All you gotta so here's is what I'm gonna give away. So I'm giving away a Google Nest Mini. I know the camera picked this up. There it is. Uh, yeah, except using my camera. Brand new, factory sealed, never been opened. Uh, it is the second generation. Great product. I have one. I love it. Uh, and the second thing, part of it, same giveaway. It's just going to be a very simple, nice XPG hat. Just a little nice white with a back on it with an emblem on the side. Really nice fit. Nice ball cap. Brand new. Still has the uh, factor thing in it. So just for, as a thanks to all the support. So all you have to do to enter. And it's very simple. Just leave a comment down below. Any kind of comment. You want to, you know, to make it polite. Make it nice. Uh, duplicate comments will not get you an extra entry. It's one entry per user. You must be subscribed to the channel. Contest will end in, let's see, two weeks. This video is scheduled to be uploaded on the 18th. So that gives you until, we'll call it July 4th. You have until July 4th to enter the giveaway drawing. will be done that weekend. And the winner will be notified uh, on YouTube. So guys, good luck.